So my story, just very briefly, I, I'm half Italian. I grew up in Italy, in Milan. And this is our cathedral. Everything was really wonderful, Dolce Vita, mopeds and all that, great. Um, unfortunately, uh, also, uh, already by the time I was 11, I was hanging out with people who were uh, taking drugs all over the place. There was a very bad epidemic of heroin uh, all over Italy, but Milan was particularly bad. We used to uh, play in the park surrounded by syringes filled with blood. We had to move them to the side before we could play. Uh, completely normal addicts injecting on the way to my primary school. I'd see them every morning and say, what, what are they doing? Um, so a lot of my friends use drugs. In fact, everyone I know use drugs all the time. Um, uh, quite a few of them are now dead. Quite a few of them are in recovery. I feel at home with addicts, with people with substance abuses and alcohol problems because they are really my life. But interestingly, some of us got through the other side uh, not having become addicted to anything. And that's also interesting and important. You feel like you've got a, a job to do to, to treat people when so many people you know have died because of it. But the interesting, the, the, part, the thing to do with gambling was slightly different because actually it was drugs and alcohol that I had grown up with. But the gambling was something I came across by chance during my research uh, when I did the doctorate with Imperial College. Uh, it was using a specific neurobiological test, neuropsych test, that identified people with very poor decision-making abilities. And although my research was on alcohol dependency, um, I I really understood that some people, some of my subjects had done very badly and they were the ones who were pathological gamblers and it was soon after that that I became obsessed and I mean obsessed with understanding the illness and I spent six months, literally six months and I would tell you hours and hours every day, every night learning about the illness um, and having learned so much about it I then took over the role for the Royal College and took on a lot of media pressure at the time when the super casinos were potentially going to be opened in this country and the big question was if we open more gambling venues of such a scale will there be more addicts answer yes uh, and if there are going to be more addicts oh, who's going to treat them and where are the nhs provisions and of course there weren't any at the time which then led me to decide to, to do this